Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a lot of miscellaneous setup to do for the month of July. It's so exciting that the new planner starts on the first of the month. We're all moving in, but I have a lot more to set up than just the monthly layouts of that new planner. That's definitely gonna be part of it. Here's my, this is my new planner down here. This is my old planner. I'm gonna do some cover swaps. I'm gonna move some stuff from the pocket to my new planner. I did do a full setup video of the new planner where I set up all of like the extra pages and the notes pages and a little bit of the monthly layout, but I still have some other moving things to do to get that new planner ready to go. I have some Erin Condra and Petite planners that I need to get set up for the month of July. And then this is my deluxe monthly planner that I also need to get set up and ready to go. So we have a lot to do today. Let's jump right in. Let's start with some of the cover swappings. As much as I do love this Erin Condren seasonal surprise box cover, I'm gonna take that off for a little bit. Okay, my sticky notes need to move in to the new planner. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 2019 cover on this planner. I've talked about this in a couple different places, but I do only carry six months at a time in my life planner, I uncoil and recoil, so it's only six months. And then at the end of the year, I will take this, the whole 12 months and put them together and then put this cover on it. So for now, I'm gonna leave the six months that have already happened and I'm gonna leave them with this 2019 cover. And then at the end of the year, I will put it all together and put this cover back on. Let's take some of the things out of this back pocket. We're gonna take this with us, we've got these stickers and then that's, oh wait, there's one more thing. I'm gonna take this with me to my new planner. I didn't really do any of these things this month. Um, I think that's it. So these, this is the first six months of the year, all done and ready to just sit on the shelf and hang out for the, the second six months so that they can be combined. So here is the new planner. I left this 2020 cover on there when I did the setup video, but I'm really, I'm feeling this cover. I was slipping through my covers, although it did get a little bit ruined at the bottom there. And some of these teeth have gotten a little bit loose almost. But I saw this cover and I was like, oh, that just feels like a nice cover to kick off this new planner with. This cover is, I don't think it's available anymore. It's a super old cover. Like, look, the inside doesn't even have the dashboard thing anymore. It's just the solid color inside. And I picked the, I think it was navy and hot pink maybe. I love this color combo together. Okay, so we're gonna need that when we get to the monthly layout. But for now, I'm gonna put the sticky notes back in. I keep those usually at the front. Actually, oh, I saw somewhere somebody say that they left their sticky notes here so that they had to look at this page every time they went and got their sticky notes. I forget who told me that, but what a great, great idea. So I'm gonna put my sticky notes there. There's nothing else to set up on any of these pages. And then I'm gonna leave this here so I can look at it all the time when I come to this page. So this notes page, I have nothing else I'm gonna set up here. I'm gonna leave this the way it is. And then this one, like I talked about in my setup video, I'm gonna use for some form of memory keeping. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna leave this one the way it is. This one, I'm gonna add some stuff to. So now that I've completed my power sheets for the month, I can add things to here. Now, what I originally was going to put here were these monthly tasks. And I wasn't really thinking, because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six lines here, and there's, I have 10 here. So I could either double them, and it's just, I'm gonna have to do a lot of abbreviations or writing small. I thought about also just writing like the quote and like the overarching monthly focus, and but I already wrote monthly goals. I might switch some of these things around in August to make that a better system. But for, but for July, I'm gonna go ahead and put two columns so that I can fit all 10 and then just sort of abbreviate and write small so that I can fit the words for all 10. And then for the weekly goals, I can just go ahead and fill in all six. There's plenty of space, even if I had decided to do all eight, which is how many lines the Power Sheets has for the weekly, I happen to only do six this month, but there's plenty of space for that on this Erin Contra notes page. Okay, so that notes page is now done. So let's go ahead and move on to the monthly layout. So when I was prepping, I did go ahead and put some of the stuff down. So I use my Planner Kate stickers that turn it from a Sunday to Saturday to a Monday through Sunday, and then the dates change. And then I put down some of the Erin Condren sticker strip to cover up the days that aren't getting used, but I haven't put down any of my plans. So I have this whole long sticky note of plans and I need to get all of that put down, as well as some of these holiday stickers and some of these 
decorative stickers, and so forth. I used to also put birthdays right here, but since I'm putting them on the prior page, I don't have that either. So let's go ahead and do some of these holiday stickers from Christian Design. So we have the Tour de France, which is like the whole month, basically. It starts on this Saturday. Um, I'm gonna put it here. And then we have Bastille Day. And then Ice Cream Day. That sounds like something we should celebrate. Wait, so Ice Cream Day and Junk Food Day are on the same day. I'm not gonna put both down. That just seems like a lot. And then Cheesecake Day. Oh, definitely wanna celebrate that. And then Pioneer Day is July 24th. Never even heard of that holiday. Okay, and then I don't know when Shark Week is, but I'm gonna skip that one. So we're done with that page. Okay, on this page we have Canada Day. Independence Day. I'm not gonna use this one because I might use a different 4th of July sticker. And then that's it from, from this page. I like this foiled one. Let me see what, but I also like the Erin Condor ones. Like this one with the blue foil. Oh, it's so pretty. I think the blue foil is a bit much for this whole layout. So I'm gonna use the silver one from, actually no, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use this one. So many things I can't make up my mind. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and also put down this quote sticker to cover up. I'm trying to cover up this little hexagon. And this is again where I used to put that I was used to put birthdays. Now I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use this little side area for. Okay, so first I have that I'm not working the fourth and the fifth. Well, yes, I I know that. And Sam's parents are in town for a lot of next week, but I'm not gonna mark that off. Okay, so I'm going to Chicago the last weekend of the month. I'm gonna use these navy strips that match the kit. Although now that I'm looking at that, that doesn't really stand out to me. Like, it doesn't shout like I'm going out of town. Like it just, it looks like it goes with this. It looks like I've just stacked it on one, you have stacked it on top of that, but you know what I mean? Like it looks like it's part of that as opposed to its own thing. So I'm gonna use these red ones because these definitely stand out more as like something different is going on here. And then I actually am not coming home until Monday morning, taking like the super early morning flight. So I'm gonna let this bleed into Monday a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna try and pull in some of this blue so that it's not just like a surprise when I use it other places. So I'm gonna start by putting this quote sticker. I can't decide as if I wanna line it up with that sticker or with No, I like that better. Cause then I'm gonna use this one to mark my flight to Chicago and this one to mark my flight home. Okay, normally I try to use like the strips from these sheets, but there aren't as many and they're kind of in not the colors that I want. So I went and grabbed some sheets. This is from the back of the Erin Condren neutral planner. And then this is from one of the old Erin Condren sticker sheets and sticker books. I'm not sure which one because I've taken all mine apart at this point. So let's see here. So I'm going to mark, I'm going to take one of these and mark, uh, yeah, let's just do this. Dinner with Sam's parents on Monday. This one, we're going to see a show with them on Saturday. The Tour de France sticker is kind of in my way, but I'm going to make it work. And then the 16th, we're going to an event at the Jewish Heritage Museum. Actually, I'm gonna take this one off. This blue doesn't, now that I'm looking at it, it just doesn't really match. I'm gonna be consistent and use all of these, these ones so that they're all the same. And then I have an event on Saturday the 13th and Thursday the 11th. Is that it? Did I capture it all? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the pen. I'm using my favorite permanent pen, which is the Microperm 03. You can get away with like a normal pen on the Erin Condren stickers, but I prefer the way that these write. 
Okay, I forgot the name of this event, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. All right, now my monthly layout is all set up and ready to go. So let's keep moving. This is next week, which I haven't planned yet. Doing that as soon as I'm done with this video. So let's flip to the notes pages in the back. Last time we chatted, in the setup video, I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna use these and I decided. So first I thought about using it for weight, but I kind of struggled with, well, what if I gain the weight back? Am I gonna like this system? And a lot of people were like, it doesn't make sense to use it for weight on this side and this side. So I am gonna use this side for weight. So let's do that one first and then we'll talk about the other side. So because this is only six months, I'm just gonna focus on the next six months. So I'm gonna use one as like July starting, July ending, August starting, I just realized that August starting and July ending are gonna be the same. So just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. I guess if I like it, then I will move it, like just take this whole page and move it into my new planner. So we're gonna start with July up here. And I'm gonna put a one and a colon and I'm gonna write my weight on July 1st and then 31st colon, I'll write my weight on the 31st and just sort of track it that way. So this page, I thought, all right, maybe I'll do Broadway shows I wanna see. There's at least 17 shows that I wanna see that, that are currently out and then I could sticker them off as they go. And then I thought there is zero chance it's gonna get done in six months. There's probably not even a chance it's gonna get done in 12. So what I decided to do, I'm gonna put movies that I wanna see here. And some of them are in theaters and I'm gonna look into the AMC Movie Pass actually that's on my to-do list for July. Some of them are already out and we need to rent or we won't see them before they leave the theaters and we'll still need to rent them. Like the ones that pop into my head first are Toy Story 4. Also, after I list these, you're gonna think I'm like a child. So Toy Story 4, Secret Life of Pets 2, The Lion King. Those are the ones that popped into my head. If you have any other movies that either have come out recently this year that you've seen or that are coming out later in 2019 that you recommend, please let me know and I'm gonna add them to my list. I know there's some that I'm forgetting that came out earlier this year that I never got around to seeing. All right, and then back here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put, before I put this in here, I'm gonna check it and see what's inside. Cause I see like my plan camp stickers, those need to go into, I'm gonna detach. Those need to go with my like keepsake stuff. This needs to go back with my June stuff. And this I can all keep in here. This can go with like my memory keeping stuff. This can stay here. And these need to go with like the uh, present giving stuff. The rest of this can stay. So I'm just gonna clip that back in. All right, and then this pile of stuff here. No, none of this is going back in the pocket. That's going somewhere else. Okay, so now my life planner is all set up and ready to go. So let's move in to the Erin Condren Petite Planners. I'm actually gonna start with this one because it's the easiest. So this is the Erin Condren Summer Planner that came with the Summer Surprise Box, but it's also now available for purchase on the site. And it's got like a bunch of like places to do lists and a place to journal every day. So I'm gonna try and journal a little bit every day. But the setup I'm gonna do today is actually just getting the calendar set up. So they provide these date stickers. They're not date covers really because there's no dates to begin with so that you can use it for any month that you want, which I really appreciate. And I know some people were gonna do June, July, August because that's really their summer. And if you are a student or you have kids in school, like that really is your summer. But since we're going on a pretty big trip in September of this year, I wanted to do July, August, September. So I'm setting up the dates so that it is July and I'm just gonna add this book into my evening journaling time. I talked about it a little bit more in the folio setup video that I did. So if you want a little bit more insight about all the different petite planners that I'm using, besides just the ones that I'm gonna set up here in this video, you can go check out that video. But for this one, we're just gonna get the dates all set up. Okay, so now that is all ready to go. I put the stickers from the Summer Surprise Box in the pocket back here too. I'm gonna use it in this planner because the theme just all kind of goes together. Okay, so then we have, I'm gonna do this one next. And this is the blank undated monthly page that I am using as a content calendar. So all I need to do here is write in the dates. It might've been nice if they also provided date covers for this one too, but they didn't. And I talked about this 
one a little bit more in that other video too. But this petite planner is just what I'm using to plan out my content for my channel and what video is going up when and when I'm filming all of the respective videos. It just helps me see it at a glance, but not have it be too big. I tried doing this in a deluxe monthly planner and it was just too big. And then I also tried doing it like just vertically listed out and that didn't really work for me either. I like visually seeing the month and like where the days of the week fall. So I'm obviously not gonna fill out any of the videos yet because I don't wanna ruin the surprise for you. I'm also gonna go ahead and add the word favorites here. I like having this space to just jot down as favorites come to my mind throughout the month instead of trying to think of them all at the end of the month. So now let's do this one. I turned the page partially because I don't want you to see it, partially because I did a really bad job checking it off and I don't want to look at it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with a monthly page and this is going to list all the videos down the side. For now, I'm just gonna put the dates. Actually, I'm gonna use this guy to help me look at the dates of which when there are gonna be videos. Okay, so that's all the setup I'm gonna do for this page for now. I will go back and fill in the videos or some of them I'll fill them in as I go, as I plan it out. And then at the top, I put everything that I want to do for each video. So I want to post on my Instagram, I wanna share on stories, I wanna share on my Facebook, etc. And then behind the monthly layout, I want to have a page for each week. And that is where I'm gonna put the days of the week across the top. And then along the side, I'm gonna put all the things that I'd like to do each day, like post on Instagram, etc. And I don't necessarily need to set up all the weeks now, but I do think that having them all set up in advance will help me stick with it, not having to add something else to my weekly to-do list. So I just added all the dates at the top there. I thought I smeared that one for a second. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the days of the week My brain is not functioning properly. Okay, and I'll go back in and fill what the habits are later. I just wanted to get the date set up and ready to go. Okay, the last one, which I saved this one for last. Well, the last petite planner, and then we have the deluxe monthly because I know this is gonna be the hardest. So what I wanna do is set it up like this. Obviously not all filled in, but I wanna have it set up for the whole month. And I know that seems a little bit extreme. Again, I could set it up for each week as I go because this is a week at a time, but I know I'm way more likely to use it if I go ahead and set up the entire month today. So what I can't see, I'm not good at sticking through. So what I can't decide is do I wanna, yeah, it, it doesn't bleed all that bad. So I'm gonna set them up back to back. So let's find a blank page. Look how well that one went. I had it all set up. I could just like white it out and use this page again. Now I'm gonna set up new pages. So on the left side of the page, I set it up for my lettering and my doodle challenges. The prompts that I use are from Llama Letters on Instagram or Cindy, I'm gonna mispronounce her name here on YouTube. I'll link all of that below. She will sometimes do one list for both and you write it and you doodle it and sometimes she'll do it separately. This month for July, she is doing the same one for both. It's all Lion King themed, which I'm really excited about lettering. I'm a little nervous about drawing the Lion King to the point that I might go back and do the June doodles since I did such a bad job with the June doodles and didn't really follow through on them and they were all like summer food things. I just think that's gonna be much easier to draw than like the Lion King characters. As much as I love the Lion King and I'm excited to letter it, I don't know that I can handle doodling it. Okay, so now I'm doing the time tracking box setups which I'm gonna get the outline drawn. I'm not gonna do the key for each week in case I decide to change up the key, but I am gonna get the box drawn and the days of the week and the hours on the side. So I got this idea from Cindy as well, and she has since stopped doing it. It stopped adding value for her. It still adds value for me. I noticed that when I track my time, I'm so much more diligent with it, and I'm so much better about making sure that I am just making good use of my time and not sitting around. So the way that I track it, it is each box is a half hour and I started at 5 
I usually don't wake up until six, but I, I started at five just in case I happen to get up early that day. And, and then it goes until 4 a.m. And I have had someone ask before, like, when do you fill it out? You know, do you take it with you everywhere? And the truth is no, normally I don't. What I try to do is in the mornings before I leave for work, I'll fill out how I spent my morning time, which is honestly usually the same every day. That's not where the trouble comes in. And then I go to work and when I come home, I'll fill in work. And then before I go to bed, I will try to remember to fill in how I spent my time after work. And that is where the trouble really comes in is not, you know, just dilly dallying on social media. And then with the weekends, I do try to do it kind of as I go because I just messed up again. This is why I don't like bullet journaling on camera because I always, always mess up. And this paper is kind of this like interesting off yellow. So it doesn't always like the white, white out doesn't look good on it. And yes, I'm gonna waste a page and here's why. I have found that when I don't like the way that my planner looks or any tool, I'm very much a visual person and if it looks nice, I'm going to use it. If it doesn't look nice or I don't like the way that it looks, if I messed up or whatever it is, I will stop using it and then it defeats the whole purpose of having it or setting it up in the first place. So I'm just gonna turn the page. I'm not gonna use that one that I just set up and I'm gonna start with this one next week, which means I need to set up one more set in the back. Okay, I finished setting up all the weeks. So let's go ahead and get the key set up for next week. So I'm gonna use the same key I did here. So we've got the red, orange, the yellow, teal. Blue, purple, light purple, dark purple, and then the pink. Am I in the green? There's one, two, four, six, eight. And the gray. There should be ten. Okay, and then the categories are Sam. Friends and family, which next week is gonna be a lot more family because Sam's family is in town. And then yellow is hygiene, is that right? Oh no, social media. I made social media like a super bright color so that it stands out when I, and this isn't like social media, I'm doing things for Plan With Lakin, this is like sitting on the couch browsing social media. Adulting, so this is like washing the dishes, going to the grocery store, like, things you have to do to be an adult. This is just work. Light blue is self-care. That contain, also contains working out, taking a bubble bath, reading my book, etc. Purple is commuting, so it's any time I spend on the train. This purple is hygiene. And then the bright pink, this is anything related to Plan With Lakin, filming, editing, etc. And then gray is sleep okay now this is all set up and ready to go okay last but certainly not least is my deluxe monthly planner so the first thing i want to do is change the cover this is the one that they sent me to review and i just really don't like that cover to be honest with you so i got this cover a while back and i haven't used it yet so i thought why not i also have never owned a black coil before so that's new for me so if you watched my deluxe monthly planner idea video, I shared actually six ideas on how to use this planner and I put sticky notes throughout the planner to, to share with you the ideas that I had and I'm gonna take them all out now because I haven't done that yet. So I, here, here's all the ideas, oh geez. So many sticky notes. I also ordered a deluxe monthly planner in the large size to use as a work planner, which was one of my ideas in that video. Since I get my Erin Condren stuff shipped to the office and it's a work planner, I haven't actually brought it home. It's still sitting at my desk at work. There's no really setup to do for it because I'm not, you know, I'm not adding any stickers. I'm not setting up any notes pages really. I'm just kind of using it as is with a pen. So I didn't feel the need to really bring it home. But if I do decide to do anything unique with it, and I can share it, I will be sure to do so. Okay, and then I talked about this. The way that I'm gonna use this is, it has to do with my Rent the Runway Unlimited subscription. So I really wanna take better notes on how 
I used it. I meant to save these. And so that is how I'm gonna set this up today. I'm not gonna do a ton to set it up. The biggest thing I wanna do is just like I do in my normal planner, I wanna switch this from a Sunday through Saturday layout to a Monday through Sunday layout. So I use these stickers from Planner Cape that just change the days of the week at the top and then you have these little circle stickers that changes the date. The colors, I'm a little frustrated because the colors that she has them in are old Erin Condren colors and so they don't really match and I wish that she would re-release them in brighter colors to match the new Erin Condren color scheme. I might reach out to her once I have to place another order to stock back up. Right now I have plenty and so I've just been using them up. But when I run out and I need to go buy more, I might, I might ask her to make them in brighter colors. And rather than using an Erin Condren sticker sheet to mark off the days that are not part of the month, I'm just gonna use the Kaleidoscope washi since it matches. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a pen, I'm gonna jot down some of the special occasions, like the things I need to remember that I'm gonna wear something specific for. So like Monday, we have dinner with Sam's parents. And then Saturday, we're seeing a show with them. So those are the big ones, and I'm expecting a delivery today, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three outfits that I got delivered today, and I'm going to, like, assign them to the days. And then I have one that is dropped off, and I or I have one that will be delivered on Monday. So I'm going to kind of incorporate that as well. I'm going to put this set of sticky notes in here. And then from now on, when I try something on, I'm going to take copious copious notes. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to use this page or if I'm going to use this page. I might I might just glue it together so that the, the month flips directly to the month, although the sticky notes will do that too. All right, I'm going to leave it for now. That's all I'm going to do for now, but this is kind of how I wanted to set that up. Okay, that's it. Now I am ready to go for July. Everything is all set up. I finally feel like I'm like I'm excited for the new month to start. It's a new month. It's a new planner. Let me know in the comments if you are all set up and ready to go for July. This video is going up on July 1st, so I hope you're ready, but if you're not, it's totally fine. There is no magic date to start fresh and start new. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. So this notes page, oh, that came out. Go back in, okay. So now, there's a sticky on the back here. And a place to journal, whoa. Come back, stickers. I will go back and fill in. Oh, did I just mark that? Oh my God. Oh, 